Hey guys, it's Saturday. It's time to recap what we've been studying this week here on Tack Room Devotional. I'm Keith Brown. Now, the title of our little series here has been called Choose Life. It's our choice. What do you choose, life or death? Our scripture comes from Romans chapter 8, verse 6, and it says, For to be carnally minded, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You see, you get to choose. What would you like to be? Um, carnally minded, spiritually minded, life or death. It goes on to say in verse 7, it says, Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it can... Uh, for it is not subject to the law of God. That also means it's not subject to the word of God. Well, we found out how important the word of God is. Jesus said, my words, they are spirit and they are life. And so we need to take the words of, God, uh, of Jesus, not just take them and, and know them, but we need to apply them to our life. We need to let them take root in the heart. We found out the power of the tongue. It, we found out that the, the word of of uh, uh, the word is in us, or it says near us, it's in our heart and in our mouth. Okay, so there's a relationship to the heart and the mouth with the word. And it says this is the word we preach, it's a word of faith. See, our faith is in God, so we take that word, we put it not just in our mouth, but down in our heart so it comes out. Remember, the Bible says that as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And then in Matthew chapter 12, it says, out of the abundance of a man's heart, so he speaks. So if you want to know what you really believe, listen to what you say. Now, if you say things that are crossways of the word of God, guess what? You're carnally minded. If you say, man, I am broke. Man, Man, I am sick. Man, I am not worth anything. Man, I don't know what I'm going to do. That's all carnal. I'm so afraid of what this government's going to do. Oh man, what are we going to do with the economies upside down? If you speak those things, that's sideways of what the Word of God says. That's not what it speaks about for you and I. And we've talked about this in all these other teachings that we've, that we've done. So go back and review them. But we need to speak the word of God. Why? Because there's, it causes us to become spiritually minded and it produces peace and life. Amen and amen. We also found out that our tongue is so strong that it sets on fire the course of nature. That comes from James chapter 3. We can actually change the environment around us by speaking the word of God. We found out also that um, um, uh, in our heart, the things that are in our heart tells us what we believe. And we're going to, it says, uh, in Matthew chapter 12, it says, uh, by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. That's how powerful the words are. Now, we've talked about that in the past, but it tells us what's in our heart. We need to speak the words of God, become spiritually minded. Amen. And then I gave you an example of Mary and Martha. Perfect example of how to become spiritually minded. Martha she wanted to get up and f feed everybody and take care of the food and the drinks and everything else. And Mary sat at the feet of Jesus and just said, no, I'm not leaving here. And Jesus said, you know, Martha, you got a lot of things you're dealing with, but there's only one thing that's important. And that was to sit at his feet and listen to his words. Amen. And it's the same thing for you and I. If you want to be spiritually minded, spend time with Jesus. Know his word. Listen to his spirit speak to you and I. That's how we become spiritually minded. And then finally, yesterday, we talked about there's two different arenas. You got the arena of the world that's trying to pull you away from spiritual things. And you got the, the arena of God that's trying to give you a wonderful life. Which do you choose? Remember Paul says that as babes in Christ, we're going to grow and we need a solid food. What is the solid food? It's the word of God. So once again, we need to put it in our, not only in our minds, but we need to put it in our mouths, put it in our heart. It needs to become the very source of our life. It's like when you take food to eat, it goes into your body and gives your body strength and keeps your body alive. And it's the same thing for us. All right. Hey, I hope you got that. Today's Saturday. Go to church tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.